What's up people, it's King Delta 7th, and I'm here to answer a question that I know a lot of people are going to have for Destiny 2. Do I want to be a Titan? Do I want to be a Hunter? Or do I want to be a Warlock? This is going to be a question that's going to plague a majority of the community, especially because a lot of people are going to be new to Destiny 2 as opposed to Destiny 1. There are going to be a lot of people who want to play it on PC, who want to try it first and get everything. They want to see what the whole game has to offer on the... Uh, on the console first and they're gonna be a lot of people who just didn't play destiny 1 because they heard that it had a bad story or whatever and they want to try out destiny 2 so I'm here to answer these questions do you want to be a hunter do you want to be a Titan or do you want to be a warlock but in order to answer that question though I'm going to have to give a little bit of information about each class because the thing about it is, in my opinion, there is no 100% best class. It's all about what you feel more comfortable, what role you feel most comfortable playing as, and how you see yourself playing the game. For instance, I picked the Warlock because I thought that I would have good enough mobility where I wouldn't need a Hunter's uh, quick movement option. I wouldn't need a Hunter's quick movement options. And I wanted the option to be able to spread out a lot, uh, spread out, uh, spam out a lot of abilities and get a lot of abilities out on the map. And I thought that the Warlocks would end up having the highest ability charge rate, which ended up being true. But other people may not like that. Other people may want the skirmishing ability of the Hunter or maybe the survivability of the Titan. So let's get down to what each class is good at. So let's start with Titan. The class that I personally dislike the most. Think about the Titans in Destiny 2, right? The Titans specialize in being very tanky. They have a lot of survivability stats. And it may not be necessarily in starting health because I'm pretty sure everybody has the same base health in terms of uh, Crucible. But when it comes to abilities that help you survive, like for instance, the Titans have a barricade that they can set up. They have uh, a Titan shielding ability where they can protect themselves and other people. They have the Titan bubble that you guys, uh, some people may remember in Destiny 1. And they also have, uh, they also have, if you have a certain exotic for it in Destiny 2, they have something where if you put up a barricade, it will have a healing well behind the barricade so that if you're damaged or if you're getting damaged you're going to be able to heal behind from behind your barricade while you're fighting other people so destiny or titans do a great job in terms of protecting themselves and protecting other people but titans also have overwhelming power titans have the striker ability where in destiny 1 what the striker did is you'd have a gigantic area of effect titan slam where you'd slam against the ground and it would create a humongous arc charge that would blow away everybody in the vicinity but in destiny 2 the striker has changed a little bit so not only do you have that uh area of effect but you can do it multiple times so not only titans are on your titan build can be on the very opposite ends of the scale in terms of defense and attack you can either have the ultimate defense to where you will you can have an impenetrable defense that people will struggle to get by or you can have an ultimate attack where you can demolish everybody around you usually in raids though titans choose the defensing path in terms of like the titan bubble and things like that because of the fact that it's very useful the survivability that it provides to the whole team is very useful when it comes to surviving hard challenges and things like that which should be obvious um, in my opinion the Titans have the best exotic armor in the game if you saw my uh, past video about Titan armor link or uh, Titan exotic armor leak you would be able to see that also in Destiny 1, I'm not sure about in Destiny 2, in Destiny 1, Titans had the highest jump. They had maybe the slowest jump as you kind of 
uh, lingered in the air a bit while you were floating up, but you had the highest jump. So your movement options were not the best uh, horizontal, but you had the best movement options vertical. Not in terms of speed, but in terms of height. Next, we can talk about the hunters. So the thing about hunters, when I look at hunters, I look at them like this. Hunters are the best when it comes to skirmishing. And the reason for that is because they are the most agile class. They have the best movement options. They have the quickest movement options, I should say. So they move the fastest when aiming down sight. They are the hardest to hit because they can dash around on the ground. They have their shadow step thing. They're uh, just about all of their um, supers and subclasses can be used for attack. The hunters are the best when it comes to killing priority targets, in my opinion. But they do not offer a tremendous amount of team play. So, when I think about a hunter, I think about someone who's a lone wolf, someone who's going to go out by themselves, look for the boss, try to do as much damage to the boss as possible, try to get in it and get in and get out. When I think of hunters in the crucible, I think of someone who is going to be super hard to gun down in a 1v1 uh, gun battle. But it's someone who doesn't have the best survivability. Um, they don't have the best survivability aspects of their game. And the fact that they have the least amount of armor and they have the slowest health recovery. Where I believe that the Warlocks have the highest health recovery and the Titans have the most armor. But to balance that out, like I said before, they have the most agility so it's harder to hit them so as a titan you'll start off with your gunslinger i believe maybe your uh maybe your arc strider i'm not sure which one you'll start off with but the uh the super that you'll start off with will be guaranteed to be all about putting out damage you're going to be able to kill a bunch of people well so it depends if you're a if you have a gunslinger you have your golden gun you'll be able to do a lot of damage to one priority target kind of like an assassin but if you have your blade dancer you're just gonna go in a frenzy and do a bunch of damage to a bunch of different targets um in my opinion the gunslinger is probably the most standard class when it comes to playing another first person shooter the movement is pretty quick you don't have that like super long lasting jump that requires you to stay floating in the air your jumps are pretty quick and pretty bursty um i don't know i feel like the hunter is pretty standard and straightforward and you have a bunch of kill options as a hunter so if you want to be that guy to go out and carry the team in terms of doing the most damage and things like that then maybe not doing the most damage but getting the most kills then i think you should definitely pick the hunter Next, we can talk about the Warlock. So, last but not least is the Warlocks, right? Definitely not least. In my opinion, the Warlocks are the best class in the game because you have a balance of Hunter and Titan. In terms of, you don't have the same movement options as a Hunter, and you don't have the exact same survivability of a Titan, but you do have a good amount of armor, you have the highest recovery, and you also have the highest ability damage. By ability damage, I mean, I believe, personally, that the Warlocks have the best grenades, they have the best uh, melee, because your melee has a good amount of range to it, and it does a good amount of damage, and they might have the best supers. So, the supers that you get that I am sure that you're going to get in Destiny 2 is you have the Dawnblade and you have the Voidwalker. In terms of maybe doing the most damage to multiple targets, see, it's hard to say because your super as a Voidwalker is you have a Nova Bomb, which is a gigantic, like, 
think of a mini spirit bomb that you are throwing at a bunch of different targets. If you have a bunch of targets in one controlled area, then you're going to be able to destroy a lot of enemies. However, if they're spread out, then you're going to want the Dawn Blade, which is you get a giant fire sword. Not a giant fire sword, but you get a fire sword so you can hack and slash people. And you can send out like a... You can send out like a... a I don't know how to exactly describe it. You can send out like a traveling fire slice. That is like a, it goes around in a circle and when it hits somebody then it just destroys them. And I believe that there's an ability that has them explode and they can do damage to other people around them. So in terms of ability damage, doing a bunch of damage to a bunch of people. Warlocks are like, warlocks in my opinion are the people that want to do the damage per second. Hunters do the killing. Titans have maybe the most burst, but Warlocks have maybe the best sustainable damage. You'll always be able to do a bunch of damage if you pick a Warlock, but it's not as crazy as it may be. Like, in, it's relative to Destiny, though, because you're not going to be able to do a bunch of damage like a Mage or something in League of Legends or in World of Warcraft. But relative to everybody else in Destiny, Warlocks will do the most damage more damage than anybody else in the game in my opinion though for destiny 2 the exotics that i've seen i forgot to talk about the hunters exotics hunters may have the second best exotics i believe that the warlocks have gotten the bad luck of having the worst exotics of the exotics that i've seen again if you haven't seen all of the leaked exotics go to my other video i have all the information there but in my opinion, Warlocks are the best for people who want to have... Warlocks have a good amount of crowd control. If you want to be able to wipe out a whole map, then, in my opinion, you should pick a Warlock. If you're the type of guy who wants to carry the raid. That's my opinion. Warlocks carry the raids. That's what I have to say about it. I'm sure there will be people in the Destiny community... community I don't know why I can't talk right now. Probably because it's so late. Destiny community who disagree... But hey, they're not Warlocks, so they don't know. Warlocks are the best. Warlocks are the brightest. Join Team Warlocks. So, I think that's all the information I've had for you guys today. Let me know in the comment section what you guys are going to pick. Are you going to pick a Warlock, the best class, or are you going to pick a lesser class, like the Hunters or the Titans? I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. This is King Delta 7 signing out. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, peace.